Hello, welcome to another episode of the Outbiome channel. Today we're going to be having a bit of a look around for some wild edibles. Now you can find wild edibles in most places. Uh, here we're going to be looking around a woodland area. Um, the sorts of things you can find depend on the time of year. So it's currently early May and um, yeah, let's have a look around, see what we can find. Here we have some garlic mustard. Um, can be used as an accompaniment, um, you know, to your vegetables and uh, greenery for your dishes. Um, it is quite strong in its garlic taste. Uh, you can test if it is garlic mustard by just, uh, just crushing one of the leaves and it should smell of mustard and garlic and um, it's got quite distinct leaf shape as well uh, it has delicate little white flowers and they uh, bloom in early May. Here we've got some uh, Wimberry bushes and as you can see they're uh, flowering. Now these are uh, similar to uh, blueberries and black currants. Um, they have a similar looking fruit that tastes a little bit like cross between blackberry and apple and they are uh, rich in vitamin C they make really good pies as well here we have some raspberry canes um, these don't bear fruit until later on in the year around September it's good to know that they're here though, you can tell the raspberry by turning over the leaves and they should be a silvery colour. Here we have some wild garlic growing. Sometimes you can use this smell of this before you see it. Um, this will produce uh, some delicate white flowers and uh, this usually occurs in um, early May. You can eat most of this plant and of course it does have garlic bulbs that you can dig up and um, add to your cooking. Here we have some wood sorrel seems to quite like the damp, dark and cool areas as you can hear we're near a stream. Um, you can eat these straight off, they're um, as you can see they look kind of like three leaf clovers um, and they have a kind of a lemony taste to them um, due to the oxalative acid that they have. Um, it's not a good idea to eat a lot of them but they are edible and you can eat them. There's quite a lot of wood soil around here. There's all the way up there. Patches of it all around here. Here we have good old stinging nettles, kind of underrated really, it's supposed to have more vitamin C by 100 grams than kiwi fruits, they're a source of protein amongst other things. Um, you're supposed to treat these like spinach I guess and uh, you know you can, you can 
manipulate them without getting stung. Uh, I think you are best to just bring them to the boil and uh, throw away the water and eat them as is or with something else, maybe some rice. But yeah, I'm surprised they don't have these in shopping stores. <laughs> okay, so I hope you've found looking around for some wild edibles quite interesting. Um, it's always good to know what's available in your local area um, and having that kind of knowledge is useful um, anyway. Um, so, you know, go and have a look around where you live to see if you can find um, any of the plants that I've showed you today and, uh, you know, maybe even try them for yourself. You never know, you might start um, adding them as a more frequent part of your diet. So I'll leave you with that and I'll see you next time. Keep on wondering, keep on wondering.